Good evening, I bid to Mr. Walter and all my Tesla 2 friends. The topic that I will be presenting for Task 2 English for academic purposes is why not having children is a valid and healthy choice. The topic will expand the perspective of people and help them to evaluate the issues regarding the need of every family, especially the women, to have children. Everyone doesn't need to have children and great strengths from the older generations lead to mistreatment towards the childless individual. My presentations today will be highlighting the issues and provide valid reasons behind the rejection of having their own offspring. There could be several reasons for not wanting to have children apart from having no spouse or being unable to get pregnant. I bet you must be wondering why is it valid to not have children or is it selfish to do so? Waste no more time. Let's dive into this topic together. Despite great strides made by the international women's rights movement over many years, deaths related to pregnancy and childbirth are needlessly high, and women are prevented from making deeply personal choices in their private life. When bearing child is their own choice, however, women are constantly questioned about their reproductive choices. How many kids are you going to have, and when? Why don't you get pregnant at the age of 35? Do you use birth control or support reproductive rights? How did you still have not had any children after 10 years of marriage? Even worse of all, are you sterile? None of these private issues should be questions rather than keep it to yourself. It is impossible to answer these questions in a way that doesn't provoke judgment from at least some people. But little provoke as much judgment as a woman who chooses not to be a mother at all. The stigma of having baby fever in every woman actually are not valid because not every woman out there shares the same feeling. The love towards baby is not always associated with the desire to have children. Many individuals regard not having children are not only unusual and unexpected but also morally wrong. Perceivers retaliate against those who break social roles expectations based on commonly held cultural stereotypes. Perceptions of childless women are influenced by race as well. While white women's evaluation differ less depending on their parental status, African-American women are perceived less positively in these situations when they are childless. Unconditional love towards children is enough for oneself to show how they appreciate toddler but still not wanting to have their own children. Sometimes, they rather pour the love to their nieces, to their nephews, or even their friends' children. It is one of the sweetest moments that can be cultivated because not everyone actually are fond of children. Next, let us define some important terms to get a clear view of these current situations. Childless mean condition of being without children, but it is also implied that the person the women or the family being described would like to have them. They would like to have children. People who do not want to have children prefer the word child-free since it implies contentment rather than longing to have children. One of the dominant explanations for this is that children increase the amount and the level of variety of stresses that parents are exposed such as time demands, energy demands, sleep deprivation which potentially starting a vicious cycle for themselves, work balance disturbance and financial burden. This situation tires them down greater during the daytime because they have to juggle between both work and children at the same time. 
When someone doesn't have children, they are able to focus more on themselves and excel in their work. They do not have to worry about taking care of the children or spending less time in their work. They are able to adapt to any time during their work, either finishing work late at night or having to stay up to settle everything. This clearly states that not having children not only allow them to find time for themselves but help in building career because you are able to invest more time for yourself. Being childless, on the other hand, has a societal cost because in our culture, womanhood and motherhood are equated and women are frequently defined by their product reproductive desires and possibilities. What is devastating now is that having children is society's default plan and many people still consider not having children to be abnormal or even worse, a failure as a woman. It was not appropriate for the society to brainwash little girls into believing that being a mother and having children is a defining and obligatory function. They will grow up into believing women who do not want to take on that role are somehow wrong, broken, bad, selfish, rebellious, not women enough, and not worthy of being considered serious by a partner. So, stop that stigma. Women who choose not to have children have their own valid reasons. I will begin with the first reason why not having children is valid. We should respect every woman out there when they clearly state that they do not want kids for valid personal reasons. They propose that they have no desire or instinctual drive to be a mother and feels quite distressed and awkward in a setting where people feel comfortable and natural around children. It was stated as scare-free situations where they do not feel emotionally attached to children. In the same context as this, they do not even affect by the idea when they were younger, where they never played as a mother role or even created name for their future children. Some might not even have experience into playing dolls or playing house because they never saw themselves as a mother when they grow up. Second reason why is it valid to not have children is people who voluntarily carefree are flexible to a variety of paths. Some want children and then life circumstances did not allow or they waited so long that biological children were not a valid option anymore. Miscarriage may be one of the biggest consequences that made a couple agree to stop trying to bear children because their own health matters too, but they surely are content with the choices they have made. Next, women's reasons for not having children vary widely and are well thought out. Other than a strong lack of desire for motherhood, there could be several reasons behind the child-free life. One can be concerned about the environment and social concern, where overpopulations will lead to poverty and the number of children who live in the streets are increasing day by day now. The fear of a current state of world are overwhelming because of the ideas bringing children to the current state of world are terrifying for them. Can you imagine how many children out there have been murdered, kidnapped and even be a victim of pedophiles? Raising a child and keeping them safe is one of the hardest reasons to do in this era. The fourth reason is not everyone is ready for the responsibility and the commitment. Having children means you need to care, you need to love, you need to feed and you need to provide them with the best life. So the mounting expense of charering can be a barrier. People have another commitment to fulfill such as their own career, their own parents and even their studies. Due to the compact schedules and lack of time to even focus on themselves, so having children can come in the second place. The fifth reason is that many fears they would 
replicate harmful behaviors from their own parents. The strong genetics or mental illness can be inherited or the abusive, the harmful, neglectful parents can give a great impact to their children and to the next generations. People who grew up in an abusive, bad-tempered family have led them performing the same attitude to their children. They fear of the idea to abuse their own children because they are as emotionally driven as their own parents. Better be safe than be sorry. Giving birth to a child does not stop when they came out of the womb, but it is a lifestyle responsibility. In addition, health issues referring one to bad children. Some women unapologetically devote a significant portion of their time and energy to their jobs. Sometimes they even forget to look after themselves in the sake of their work. Several women said that their occupations were tough to get or that they are self-employed and would find it very difficult to balance both children and work at the same time. Some career needs them to be away far from their families. Leaving behind their parents could be scary enough. Can you imagine leaving your own children behind? Coming home one day to find that they do not even recognize their own parents. It, it is one of the saddest moments that every parent could go through because they left their children at a very young age and they grew up without their, without their parents or even knowing or going through their life with their parents. Due to certain health conditions such as the ovarian cancer or the situations where a woman do not go through their period, it held them down from having children. In these situations, some were concerned about the invasiveness of IVF, and the treatment for IVF is sky high and very expensive. Some didn't have that lot of money to begin with, so they chose to simply stop focusing on having a baby, and the baby never arrived. The situation is definitely more complicated for women of reproductive age who have difficulty conceiving and are debating how far they should go or how much they want it whether or not their partner wants it more than they do change your mind you're missing the best part of life it is selfish not to have children don't you want to give me grandchildren often said by the parents who will take care of you when you are old even me, myself, will get tired if people keep repeating the same questions, let alone the grown-up women out there. Many people are still concerned about childless women and most have heard at least few of these comments. Parents at school trust the teachers less when they bear no children, even if they spend more hours or time with their students rather than the parents actually did with their own children. Those who are childless, they are unable to have children receive different feedback, yet it is often nonetheless hurtful and thorn deaf. People were willing to make obvious or monetarily impossible solutions such as surrogacy and abductions to people who had fertility problems. No one really sees this as an option but become an Egg donor helps couple out there who are unable to have their own children and at the same time, the children is yours too. The couples are able to provide all the love, all the care needed so you do not have to worry about your time or your energy towards spending it to the children since the both children are yours and theirs at the same time. What do we do if we don't want to have children, which society considers to be the default future for most women? Do everything and anything that you want and that you need. It is not the society choice for you to have children. It is your own considerations. People are excited to spend their life with the plan that they have created. Pursuing and maintaining rewarding occupations, caring for several rescue animals, walking focuses they believe in, traveling, 
and appreciating the people in their life are just a few of them. And despite the fact that they were aware that these activities may be done while be parenting, they prefer to do them alone instead. When they do not have children, they are able to do all these works, all these holidays, spend their time without worrying about another human being. However, we should take note that there are still women who are excited of the idea of parenting. They would like to adopt or foster children because they want to give them a great life either in their family, biologically, or the chosen one. Many of the women work in fields that include caring for children and teenagers such as the kindergarten, the primary school, the secondary school, and the tertiary level they have to mingle with children so they might have the idea or wanting to have children. Many people have nieces and nephews who are very dear to them. This alternative to parenting still allow for the nurturing of children. However, it is totally fine if women are, inter- are not interested in doing so. The tenth and the last reasons of why is it valid not to have children. Being married and not have children provide all the opportunity in life. You can live and travel to different city with your spouse, choose unusual career, travel and shop with reckless abandon, including devoted yourself to activism and politics. So much of adult life have been absorbed with an unexpected level of responsibility for other members of the family, so it is not a surprise when they prefer to be less responsible for people in their middle age and to be able to channel that energy into pleasing oneself and investing in own well-being. Life is not about all works, but you need to enjoy too. Without children, you are able to enjoy your life as much with your spouse. Not having children doesn't mean you don't have a happy or healthy marriage. Last but not least, before I end my EAP Task 2 presentations, we should remember that even if we don't know why someone chooses to parent or not, that doesn't mean that their decisions are incorrect. People and child-free people aren't competing to see who made the better decisions or who made the moral decisions. It is a completely fair and healthy choice not to have children. It's none of anybody else's business whether or not a woman has or wants children. Parenting is a choice, not a necessity. There are numerous ways to be a woman and we do not have the authority to choose another route to true happiness. Women who do not conform to gender stereotypes, especially the notion that a woman must always be a mother, do not need to be judged or punished. Several celebrities out there who chooses not to have children. First, Miley Cyrus, the daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus, refrained from having children due to the environmental reason as I have stated at the beginning of the presentations earlier. We know our writer, the beautiful actress of Stranger Things being 42 but still not having any children but are able to foster her siblings, children and her family except that if she are unable to bear a child. The famous public figure Oprah Winfrey said that having baby did not right, feels right for her. Last but not least, Jennifer Aniston feels as her life is complete even without children because we make the right decisions for ourselves. I hope that it inspires any woman who believes that a child life is for her and is unsure about what her voice and body are saying to younger ladies who believe that a child-free life is an unsatisfied one i want to explain that your future self is someone you haven't met yet don't make the mistake of assuming that you already know everything there and what's going to happen in your future also don't think that by making decisions you can control every aspect of your life so think about having a children's Will it affect your future because you are restricted to your family or may it affect your career? 
or do having no children at all will it give you more freedoms and the time that you need to focus on your life so choose a wise decision ladies don't forget to enjoy your younger days if you decide to have a children's in future that's all from me for this presentation thank you